Welcome back to another Way Noise Photos video. And yes, Canon bikes have basically come up with a new design for the Canyon Air Road. And uh, we've got some uh, schematic drawings of that and we're gonna have a look at them after you roll that intro. What Canon have tried to do is use exactly the same mounting system and actually design a different a different seat post that can flex but but doesn't actually wear away the actual top of the the receptacle hole where the actual seat post goes in and to do this what they've done is they've come up with like an s bend design so instead of having like the seat post which has got like a little handle on the end that then comes out like this and gets bigger right and it's a full width aero seat post what they've done is is they've made an s design like this and to cover that space, they've used shrouds to give it the same profile as the old seat post has. Now, if we actually have a look at this schematic that's been drawn up here, uh, courtesy of Cycling Tips, thank you for that, guys. The seat post you can see here has the S-Bend in it. But um, one of the things that I have a bit of a concern of, because the mounting spot is down the bottom, still right here, then there's going to have to be some movement around that fulcrum point which means that uh, we're gonna have some flexing in the actual straight member and then also in the s bend. So the actual seat post is going to be moving up and down slightly at the back of the receptacle where it goes into the frame so at this point here. Now what this is gonna do, this is gonna create some wear and depending on how heavy you are or, or the type of terrain you got, you might actually get some wear actually at the back of the, the frame where it actually comes out and that S bend is because that's going to be the point of most flexing in that S section of the seat post. Now what I see is still the greatest problem with this seat post is the fact that the actual mounting spot is right down low, right at the bottom of the seat post. So you're having all of this, this, this movement around that fulcrum point where the actual thing is bonded. So where the actual top of the seat post is and it goes into the frame, there is actually still going to be movement. There has to be, unless you clamp it around that position. Now, I, I thank Canyon for coming up with something to be better, and this will definitely have less movement around the actual seat post because you haven't got like a whole block. You actually just have, you'll have a smaller area moving because of the S-bend, which is, will be the actual point of most flexing. But if I was actually designing this, what I would have done is I would have, would have created a wedge section so I would have left the actual seat post a full width. But um, what I would have done is I would have actually cut the back of the seat post into a cross section. So when you have the seat post like this, I'd cut it across like that and have this piece here separate. And what I'd do is I'd have a plate in between, which has a cam. And when you actually have a screw that's up near the top of the seat post and you actually turn it, it would push this clam up and then put pressure and hold the seat post into place. Now, what you could actually do is, is then to get the flex is where the actual screw is, you could actually leave like a, a, a centric circle like this where the seat post goes in. And that part could be the flexing moment of where you actually have the seat post. So you're moving the flex section out of the frame and actually into the part of the seat post that sits outside the frame. And that's how I would have designed it anyway. But uh, it's, you can't really tell, we don't really know what testing they've done or whatever. It could actually be fine. They may actually even tell you to fit some sort of lubricant in there so it's actually designed to move. We don't know. But uh, hopefully we get some more information from Canon Bikes in the near future so we'll be able to tell how this design's working, if they've actually tested it for, for use and wear, where you actually would put a weight on it and you move it and flex it and you might do that you know, 10,000 times to see if there's actually wear, any wear in the, the actual frame. And it would actually be nice if Canyon Bites could actually put out a video or some time frame or, or hyperlapse, should I say, of the actual seat post wearing and then actually give us measurements of before and after so we can actually see that this new design is actually not wearing away the seat post and everyone's confident that this is going to be the, the permanent fix, you know, for the bike. Well, anyway, guys, just let me know what your you know, thoughts about this new design is, I mean, you know, that's just my technical review of it, but uh, you may actually see something that I didn't see. And if you actually have, 
Just let me know down below what you actually think of this new design. Do you think it's a big improvement or do you think there still could be some flaws with it? Anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it. And uh, I'm going to see you next vid. Take care. Cheers.